Hi and welcome to this video. What I'm going to be showing you is my setup for streaming on the Macintosh platform using both OBS and using Elgato's Game Capture HD. So I've got two things that I generally use for streaming. One is I'm doing like what I'm doing here, which is I'm on the Mac and I'm streaming whatever I'm doing on the Mac and I go out to Twitch and to Mixer. The other thing is I also uh, play on the Xbox One and I'll go through Elgato's Game Capture HD software to uh, stream that out onto the platforms of choice there. But I wanted to show you how to do this because it took me a long time to do the research on this because there's literally no how-tos for my platform, Mac OS, and I know there's a lot of other folks out there like me. So let me save you a little bit of research and um, show you what I've done that works just fine for me. Um, so let me get uh, a little diagram up here. There we go. So this is what I ended up with, and this is the um, uh, the full setup, and I've got a couple others that are a little bit simpler that uh, don't have all the, the components in it, but they'll at least simplify the process. But I wanted to show you everything as far as how it's all hooked up. And what you can see is over here on the, the left, I've got the Xbox One, and that's plugged into the Elgato HD60S for um, uh, video capture and audio capture, for that matter. Uh, it comes out of that into my television. I've got a Logitech C922 sitting on top of my television um, right over there. And uh, it is plugged into, all this goes into a USB port here, a USB hub uh, that I got from Amazon. So it's a 3.0 USB hub with seven ports. One of these comes from the Elgato. Uh, the other comes from the camera. And then I've got um, a, a set of uh, Stealth uh, 500 headphones from Turtle Beach. Um, and I'll get to those in a second. But I've got this mixer in the middle. And I wanted to use a good mic like this one not the cheap mic that's sitting on the headsets here. Please, besides that, you can't isolate that microphone signal from the headset and get it into a mixer. I've tried. There's no way of doing it. <laughs> so what? Hearing some noise? Maybe it's raining. <laughs> anyway, I've tried. There's no way of doing it. Um, so what I do is I, I use that little microphone to talk in party chat and stuff like that so people that I'm playing with can hear me. But I use this really nice Heil PR40 mic, the one that you're listening to right now, plugged into a Behringer mixer. This is the Q802 USB mixer. Uh, it's called Thus because it's got a USB output on it. And uh, so what I've got plugged in here is I've got the Heil microphone plugged into the mixer in channel one here. And I've got um, this red stuff here. These red dials are for um, an auxiliary out or a mono microphone channel out. So I've got it going out from those uh, into the USB in. And I use that with the uh, Elgato gaming thing. So I tell Elgato software, get my microphone input from this mixer output and then get my game input from the... HD 60 like you normally would um, and that's what it does and it works really really well um, let's see uh, I've got a USB out going to USB in here on the Mac so for all the um, Elgato stuff it's coming out on a USB cable going into the Mac here and it goes into Game Capture HD and the Game Capture HD if you see this little summary down here what it's basically doing is doing the mixing itself and so because it's not taking the output of my mixer per se, what it is doing is uh, it's taking the mono microphone output and mixing that with the game output. So that's my audio sources here. So you see the red is my mono mic out and the game is coming from just this HD60S. And then I adjust the volume in this software, in the uh, Game Capture HD software. And the video source, of course, is the HD60S. And the output is coming straight from that software, and it goes directly out to Restream.io, which is a service that lets you broadcast to multiple streaming services from one out point. So I broadcast to Twitch and to Mixer from that. Now, if I'm playing on the Mac, it's a bit different. Also, you know, I've got my Sony Studio headset that I'm wearing right now to monitor the output of the Mixer. Um, and if I'm playing from the Mac, uh, it's a little bit different. The audio source is actually using the mixers out. So I'm taking the audio in from the Mac 
mixing it in with my microphone, and then the mixer's output goes into the sound input of OBS, which is what you're hearing right now, is the output of my mixer. Now, I have no sound coming from the, the Mac itself, but you get the point. Now, to simplify things, this is how it works for Xbox One streaming. And uh, I want to make you know this kind of a simplified slide because if you're thinking of doing this with a Mac, you want to know what kind of hardware to, to use and what kind of software works. Now, granted, I've heard this on Reddit. There's, you know, people that think, well, why are you bothering with Elgato's software? Well, because it's actually pretty easy to use and uh, it does the job. Uh, number one. Number two, OBS is a little bit trickier to use. I could go around and use OBS for this solution, but I kind of like using the software that came with the hardware, right? And you know, some purists might argue that back and forth, but this is the this is the setup that's working for me. Your mileage may vary. Make your own video if you want to do one with OBS. Knock yourself out, but this is the one that's working for me, and it works pretty well. So for the Xbox One, uh, again, I come from the Xbox One out to the Elgato. That then goes into the Game Capture HD software that's running on my Mac. My microphone, to simplify, goes through the mixer and then goes also into Elgato Game Capture HD as a microphone source. The video webcam is from the Logitech and that goes into USB Hub, but that also comes into Elgato's Game Capture as my webcam source. And so I put my little webcam down in the corner like you're seeing my webcam down here. Um, same type of thing. And so the Mac runs the game or whatever I'm running with the webcam down there and then streams that out to Restream.io. Now, one key thing here is I'm listening to all of this when I'm doing this from the Xbox One is I'm using my Turtle Beach headphones. Why is that? Because I'm going to hear the output of the game plus all the party chat and be able to incorporate my chat from one set of headphones that's wireless. I'm not listening, I, I, when I first set it up and check my levels, I'm listening using these headsets, the Sony headsets. But once I'm done with this, I put them down and I use that. Why? Because that one has the little microphone that lets me do party chat. I can't do party chat from this microphone here into my stream. There's ways around it, but that, you know, trust me, this is the easiest way to do it for my purposes. And it works really, really well. That's for Xbox One. It's a little bit different for doing stuff from the Mac OS. So for that, I've got my microphone plugged into line in on my mixer here. I'm listening to the headset from here. The mixer's main out becomes the input in OS OBS software. So mixer main out goes to USB in on my Mac. Mixer main out is going into OBS Studio. So that's providing the audio that you're hearing. Um, from my Mac, the line out audio coming from my headset is going into the line in on the mixer. And then I mix microphone and desktop audio, you know, accordingly. And that's what goes in, or that's what comes out of the mixer and then therefore into OBS. I hope that makes some sense with this chart because that's what I'm trying to do is simplify it as much as possible. Um, as far as a camera goes, I'm using the built-in eyesight. So I'm looking at this eyesight right here and that's the camera. I've got a lighting kit here, so that's providing some light uh, on me as we're doing this. And um, you know that works for Mac OS streaming. Now, there's one other thing, you know, as, as I always say, like things can be improved, right? So I have a list of these are things that I'd like to try to do to improve the stream or the look and feel of things and the performance thereof. Um, one big thing is Elgato's game capture software is a couple version numbers down from the Windows version. They always seem to lead with Windows. And, Rightfully so, okay, great, it's 95% of the marketplace or what have you. But if you're a software company and you claim to support both of these platforms, you really need to be at, at or very near parity on your software or else you're, you know, you're hurting on that side of things. So, you know, put in the effort. Uh, there are a couple of version numbers behind, but they are putting in some effort. They just don't publish their roadmap, so you never know when an update's going to come. They eventually do. Um... I don't know, I'd like to see more people support, you know, and just say, look, we're going to be at parity regardless. When we put out version 3.5, it's version 3.5 across the board and not version 3.5 for these guys. And then these guys, one day you'll get it. That's kind of how it feels like to be a Mac person in this world is like, you know, you're the kids at the small table at Thanksgiving and maybe you'll get some of the good stuff. Maybe you won't. But anyway, improve on that, Elgato, please. Um, also, 
And this was one thing that I've been really working hard on. With the setup I've got, I can't hear Streamlabs alert sounds. So when I have sounds set up from Streamlabs for when someone follows or subscribes or donates or whatever, I can't hear them through my headset. And so I have to set up something else to where I'm looking over at a monitor and saying, okay, I can see that somebody followed so I can you know, thank him for following and that sort of thing. But I'd like to have an audio cue and I'm going to try to figure out a way of, of pulling that off. Um, and, you know, another thing, as I mentioned, I've set up for chat and for uh, Streamlabs cues, I've set up um, windows on a, a, my laptop here. But the problem is, is when I'm playing the Xbox over here, my laptop's back here and I have to do this and it doesn't look good on, on screen, right? On the stream for me to be cranking over my shoulder to look at the, the monitors. So what I'd really like to have is right next to my big TV monitor here, maybe sitting on top of the Xbox is I'd like to have just a little something, you know, I don't know. It could be a, a tiny iPad mini or something with the chat or whatever running there. You know, that's what I'd like to see. And, you know, even still, it's like, if I can have a chat window, how hard would it be to get me, you know, something that just has the numbers on Twitch and on Mixer and just says, you know, you got two people here and one person there that are watching right now, you know, because I'd like to be able to see across those channels who's watching and how many. Uh, so I have an idea of the audience that I'm talking to. Am I talking to myself or am I talking to 25 people? I don't know. I'd like to kind of know that. It'd be a good good thing to have in front of you. You know, and I'm not going to be one of those people that obsesses on my numbers all the time, but I like to know if somebody's actually in the room when I'm talking to myself and see if, uh, you know, they want to have a conversation. Maybe they just want to lurk. That's fine. But, you know, let me have the numbers there. Um, and then finally, I've not done anything with party chat yet, um, but probably coming soon with either Fortnite Battle Royale or PUBG on the Xbox We'll try the party chat and see how that all works in the in the mix there. So that might not be a to be improved, but rather a to be tested uh, type of thing. So anyway, that's that's what I've got for this video. Again, I'm going from Xbox to Mac OS, and I'm going from OBS to Mac OS, and from both of those scenarios out to Restream.io, and then out to Twitch and out to Mixer. So if that's the kind of scenario that you want to do on the Mac platform, you know, I'm not doing this with two PCs. I'm not doing this with uh, Windows and Mac mixed together. No, it's like it's one circa 2013 Mac PowerBook laptop and one day one edition Xbox One. And that's all I'm using. So that's my setup. And uh, here I'll park, park it back on here. This is the detail on it. Um, if you like, take a frame grab of that or what have you. But uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to tell you kind of why I went the directions I went. Um, or if you need information on some of the hardware or the software that I'm using, you know, hit me up with some comments below and, uh, you know, shoot me a note or what have you. And I'd be happy to help you out. Thank you for watching and we'll see you online.